I've got a little report for you, as we usually do at this uh, dinner, but first I've got the happiest assignment I, uh, I get to have of so many in this job. You have heard me say this uh, many times, that of all the joys of serving your university, uh, in my capacity, uh, number one is the opportunity that presents itself over and over again uh, for me to meet people of great distinction, people who have done important things in life to make this world better for others, uh, and to hear them say in almost the same words again and again, I owe it to Purdue. If not for Purdue, it started at Purdue. I heard it again today. I spent a delightful hour this morning with someone we want to recognize. Uh, many years ago now, uh, a young man from what he de described as the chemical waste dump of Niagara Falls, New York. He told me, don't be misled by those pretty f falls. That's not, that's not what the place really looked like. Uh, got to Purdue University, uh, large part only through the generosity of people like those, uh, who are, those of you who are with us tonight. And went on to do great, great things. A great career in business, an entrepreneur, an, inter, an, inno, an innovator in his own right, also a, 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 a top corporate attorney, multiple careers, all more successful than the last. And uh, all that started with his aero and astro degrees, first a bachelor's and a master's at our school. And uh, he has, uh, and his wife Monica, have uh, now uh, endowed and named the graduate program in Aero and Astro uh, with a magnificent gift of $10 million. We have a special memento um, for people who give even half that amount, but you only get one. Right? <laughs> But please welcome and help me thank uh, Ernie Gambaro. That's very heavy, so I'm glad you're carrying it. <laughs> well, there's uh, probably some value for brevity, and I will try to keep it as short as possible. And in very few words, I'll say that in a very real sense, my adult life began at this university. And I look back at those years and realize how they were important because it shaped the rest of my life. So in a very real sense, the achievements that I made were made possible by my years at Purdue. It's a great university, and its hallmark to me has always been, perhaps because of its engineering background and ag backgrounds, that the people it produces are representative of hardworking individuals who carry that message forward into life that the product of your work is what defines you. There's no free rides. There's no special favors. The one thing that always I've marveled at is that your success at Purdue was earned. And uh, that's a lesson that I carried forward for the next 60 or 70 years. Uh, and it's a lesson that is unfortunately not really expressed that much in today's society. So to some degree, we're the missionaries that carry the Purdue message forward. And I want to thank the school for giving me this opportunity to say a few words. And I'm very much appreciative, and I hope that the opportunities I've had are enjoyed by many others yet to come. Go Boilers!